How's it going guys? Max here. A lot of phones have been released in 2020 and this is my personal pick for the best phones. That is from the budget section all the way up to the flagship section and the best overall. Let's get into it. First of all, this is going to be a long video. Okay, not a very long video, but it's going to be a long and interesting video. So better just sit back, put the screen in landscape mode and relax, enjoy and watch. So we're starting with best budget phones and the award for best budget phone of 2020 actually goes to the Poco X3 NFC. Yes, I know that many phones have actually been released in 2020, some $1,300, some many. But if you're actually looking for a phone that is cheap and has, you know, a good processor, a good camera, all this and that, man, there's no phone that is better than the Poco X3 NFC. This phone starts at just $250. $250. That's just $100,000. And it has a curved plastic back, which is good for this price range. 6.67 Full HD Plus LCD display with 120 Hz. No iPhone till date has 120 Hz. Okay, Snapdragon 732G plus 6 GB of RAM and 128 GB of ROM. Expandable, of course. And as if that's not enough. 240 hertz touch sampling rates, liquid cooling technology, IP57 splash resistance, a 64 megapixel quad camera setup, and uh, 5160 mAh battery with 33 watts fast charger out of the box. Man, there is no other phone in this price range that beats the Poco X3 NFC. Like, if someone just told me, man, have a low budget but i need a phone that is very strong even personally that they need a phone this is actually the only phone that i actually tell them to go for go for the poco x3 nfc go for it is a great very great phone if i had enough money i would have bought like the main version of the phone okay then over to best compact phone well say that you're looking for a phone that is just simple not crazily specced just a normal phone with the stock android experience no bloatware nothing nothing a simple phone that is fast and is pretty good well the best option i can actually give you is the google pixel 4a starting at um 350 dollars uh it has a plastic build okay good but it doesn't feel cheap it actually feels premium with its 5.8 full hd display that's an amulet display the Snapdragon 730G with 6GB of RAM packed with 128GB base storage. Then uh, it comes out of the box with Android 10, but yeah, it can actually be upgraded to Android 11. And uh, it has a single camera, which is a single 12 megapixel main camera. But you know, knowing Google phones and Pixel phones, as Google Pixel phones, they are actually good with the cameras and uh, 8 megapixel selfie camera and the battery is 3140 million pounds this is just a simple compact phone so if you're looking for a simple compact phone you don't want too much specs or you just want something that is great and simple and good this is the phone for you then over to best camera phone the award for the best camera phone actually goes to the asus zenfone 7 pro yes you've actually heard this phone from me before a one mkbhd's blind test blind camera test this phone is great if you are a photographer and you only take pics mostly take pics man this is the only phone i can actually recommend not just because of the cameras sha. it has a 6.67 full hd 90 hertz amoled display which is great for good for 2020 it has a triple rear camera setup that's a 12 megapixel Sony ultra wide camera. That's from Sony. Uh, it's is 4 megapixel Sony wide camera, which is a, also the main camera. Um, it's 8 megapixel telephoto camera. And the selfie camera is actually all these three cameras I called. The phone actually flips its camera, giving you the best quality of a selfie camera you can get. Because you know, normally on phones, the main camera is actually more superior than the selfie camera. The selfie camera is not as good as the main camera. But this one, because of the fact that the main camera is actually a selfie camera, you get the best quality with the two. 
which is actually great and also packed with that snapdragon a65 plus the processor man the phone is actually fire with 8 gigabytes of ram and 256 gigabytes base storage and 5000 milliamp hours of battery this is actually great for 850 dollars which is its axing price then best video phone of 2020 the award for best video phone of 2020 which also the same company that has won it last year is actually the iphone 12 pro max well though i'm not that much of an ios fan i'm not an ios user i'm an android user i have to admit that when it comes to video no phone as of now for now no phone actually beats the iphone in video recording iphone is just the best if you just do video recording most times or let's say you're a movie director and sometimes you actually use your phone for your vlogs or for a scene the best phone that you should actually get is the iphone 12 pro max like the phone actually iphone it actually speaks for itself 6.7 super retina xdr oled display a triple rear camera setup as 12, 12 megapixel telephoto camera 12 megapixel wide which is also his main camera and 12 megapixel ultra wide and that lidar scanner also helps it especially in um uh night photos or night videos or even portrait shots then it's also the first phone to actually uh record hdr in dolby vision understand and that's a a14 bionic chip which is still the best chip on any smartphone for now Packed with 6 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of base storage, just make sure that this phone gives you an excellent, the best actually you can get from any video angle in a phone. If you're loving this video, a sub to the channel would be marvelous. Then, best foldable phone goes to, I mean, the only foldable that I can actually recommend that is the Galaxy Z Fold 2. That's why the fact that this phone has an asking price of two thousand dollars wow but um if you're actually looking for a foldable phone you understand um this is actually the only phone i can actually tell you because it's actually the only phone that actually stands on the foldable ground now other phones other companies their own is still upcoming or the ones that are out are not as good as but if you're actually looking for a foldable phone and you can afford it, this is actually the best I can give you. Um, I'm making a video on uh, the future of foldable phones. So make sure to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so that you actually see that video. It's going to be a great video. Okay, um, this Z Fold 2 actually had many improvements from the Z Fold 1. It has a 7.6 um, foldable dynamic AMOLED times 2 screen with 120Hz and HDR10 plus support. The outer screen has now actually been made bigger than the Z Fold 1. The Z Fold 1 was 4.7 inches, but the outer screen for the Z Fold 2 is 6.2 inches. And it also has a Corning Gorilla Glass Victus, which is actually great because this device actually needs to be durable. $2,000 can't just be wasted. And it also has a triple rear camera setup, 12 megapixel wide, um, 12 megapixel telephoto, and 12 megapixel ultra wide. And also backed up with that Snapdragon 865 Plus with 12 gigabytes of RAM. Wow. And uh, 256 gig gigabytes of RAM. That's base storage. This is actually the best foldable phone of 2020. Then the award for best performance of 2020 or slash best gaming phone of 2020 goes to the ROG Phone 3. Man, if you are a gamer... Or you're just someone that is keenly interested on performance and the everything you need from a phone is performance you just really need performance more than any other thing this phone is actually the one i can recommend for you man this phone has a 6.6 .6 full hd plus display with a 144 hertz refresh rate that's an amoled screen 144 hertz the highest on any phone for now Snapdragon 865 Plus with 16 gigabytes of RAM and up to 512 gigabytes of ROM. It has Game Cool 3 system. That's a game cooling system. And it has um external arrow active cooler 3. So the phone won't overheat. And um 6000 milliamp hours of battery. 
six thousand milliamp hours of battery that is the best it has the best battery life of any phone in 2020 and also with four microphones man if i was using that phone to record the video now you actually have a better quality and um dual front facing stereo speakers so that you actually feel the game when you're playing it and uh dual screen support that is dual gaming screen support like you can if you have the accessory you can actually put the phone on one side and actually be controlling the screen on the other one which is actually great it brings out the you know stock gaming experience so if you're looking for a phone with the highest performance or a gaming phone please this is just the best just go for it and the cameras are pretty good too and the phone is uh nine hundred dollars so it's not it's not a thousand dollars or thousand one hundred but still for the specs and everything this is actually a great deal and the award for best flagship phone of 2020 that is the best of the best the bleeding edge is actually the galaxy note 20 ultra like i can't tell we can talk about this phone all day the design is the best on any smartphone of 2020 and man this phone is something else it has a 6.9 quad hd display and full hd at 20 and 120 hertz that's what is this for 60 hertz full hd 120 hertz that's its max snapdragon 865 plus or exynos 990 which i don't like uh gorilla glass victus that's in the front and the back triple rear camera setup 108 megapixel uh wide which is 108 megapixel main camera 12 megapixel periscope telephoto camera and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera the videos you can shoot videos in 8k Yes, at 24 fps on this device and you can have up to 50x space zoom digital zoom samsung is the one calling it space zoom and uh 12 gigabytes of ram uh 4500 million powers of battery full spn support on as usual on new devices and like i've said before is the best how is the phone with the best design of 2020 if you actually want a flagship that is the best of the best you can actually get from a phone the best user experience everything this is the phone you should go for this is actually the phone you should go for like for 2020 it doesn't get bigger than this okay that's why the fact that um flagships actually give you the best of the best specs some of the specs they are not actually needed like take the note 20 ultra for example you have quad hd at 60 hertz and full hd at 120 hertz most people are going to use that phone in 120 hertz so the quad hd is just useless there and again flagships are very very overpriced imagine 1300 dollars some 100 1100 dollars some even 1500 dollars so if you actually if price was not uh, your problem and you actually want a phone best overall a phone that is not too expensive but still gives you the specs that you actually need in a phone and gives you a great experience well the award for best overall phone of 2020 is the galaxy s20 fe 5g man this phone is great like 6.5 inch full hd plus and 120 hertz which is actually reasonable super amoled display snapdragon 865 with uh backed with six gigabytes or eight gigabytes of ram and 128 gigabytes or 256 gigabytes of base storage that is also expandable it has a triple rear camera setup with 12 megapixel wide 12 megapixel ultra wide and 8 megapixel telephoto with a 32 megapixel selfie camera you can have up to 30x zoom digital zoom which samsung is calling space zoom on this bad boy and man this device is priced at 700 dollars galaxy note 20 ultra is 1300 dollars almost 1400 dollars almost times two of the price of this phone but if you really want to make a reasonable choice you actually go for this one yes it doesn't give you all the bleeding edge it doesn't give you 12 gigabytes of ram or anything but everything on this phone can blast through any task you put it to like if i had enough money now and this is 2020 and i was to choose okay choose one phone that you actually need and you want to use man is this phone that i'm going for 
despite having a um, plastic back which i don't know why samsung did this phone actually it doesn't feel cheap it's actually premium in every single way ip68 water and dust resistant that you get on every single flagship this phone is just glory and that's the reason why not just me almost every single tech reviewer on earth says that this is the best overall phone of 2020 okay so that's all for now remember that you can ask me any question about any of these phones in the comment section and yeah tell me which phone you're going for maybe one you already have tell me in the comment section and i really hope you love this video because man it was hard creating it but also cool watching it please like subscribe and um oh yeah one more thing happy new year in advance and i'll see you next year are you all my personal dreams?